My name is Menica and I'm the Community Engagement Librarian at the Anchorage Public Library. Today, I'm going to show you how to use your library card to learn professional skills with LinkedIn Learning by Linda. LinkedIn Learning offers hundreds of trainings and thousands of hours of instruction presented by reliable industry experts on everything from general business software to marketing, design, networking, photography, and music. LinkedIn Learning can be accessed through the library website or the lynda.com app on your mobile device. First, we'll go over accessing LinkedIn Learning by Lynda through the library website on your computer. Go to the library website at www.anchoragelibrary.org. If you hover over the resources tab on the menu, you can click databases A to Z. This page lists all of the databases available through the library website. If we scroll down, I'm going to click jump to a section and I'm clicking L and then I'm going to scroll down a little more and click LinkedIn learning by lynda.com. Next, I'm prompted to put in my library card number and pin. Your library card number is the number on the back of your library card. If you don't remember your pin, give the library a call. Please note that this resource does not work with temporary library cards, so you'll want to make sure you visit the library to get a verified card. From the homepage, you can see popular learning paths, which are collections of multiple courses, as well as new videos and videos that are popular at your organization. You can also browse by the type of skill you would like to learn. Hover over the library tab on the menu bar to see different focus areas such as business or education. These are then divided into topics, software, and learning paths. Click on one of these to see available courses in that area. For example, we could click e-learning. Scroll down to look at your options. At the top, we'll see new releases. And as we scroll down, we'll see that there are 152 courses and 4,974 video tutorials available in this area. You can continue to filter your results using these options on the left-hand side. When you see a course that looks interesting to you, you can click it to view it in more detail. Once you're in the course, you'll notice on the left-hand side, a contents tab that lists all of the videos that are included in the course. You can also scroll down to see more information about the author of the course, to view a transcript, or to download the course to view offline. You'll also see the duration of the course as well as the skill level. To begin the course, simply click watch now to start the video and know that you can stop the video at any point and return to the course at another time. Your account will keep track of which courses you have or which videos in the course you have viewed. You can also find courses by using the search bar. Type in the search bar for software or skills that you want to learn. For example, I could try searching Photoshop. Here we'll see a number of courses listed, 15,000 results, which we can filter down by skill level, by duration, or by narrowing down our subject. I could look for beginner courses that are less than 10 minutes and choose one from there. Next, let's look at using the lynda.com app on your mobile device. When you open the app, tap already a Linda member, tap the organization tab at the top of the screen, and in the web portal field, type library.muni.org, then tap login. You will be prompted to put in your library card number and PIN, just like with the website. Once you enter that, you will be sent back to the app after tapping open. On the home screen, you'll see at the top, continue watching, which are any courses that you may have already started looking at. If you scroll down, you'll also see suggested courses and new courses. Tap the three horizontal bars at the top left of the screen to open your menu. From there, tap library, and you'll see the different topic areas that we saw on the website as well. 
I'm going to tap Education and Learning. From here, we can explore new courses or we can tap Show Topics to see all the subtopics of this area. And we can also tap Show Software to look at courses of particular softwares. I'm gonna tap the PowerPoint Essential Training just for an example. You can see the video at the top and you can also see all the parts of the course listed below. There are lots of courses to explore in lynda.com and I encourage you to take a look around the next time you have a chance. And if you have any questions, of course, you can contact us at the library. Thanks.